I take pictures of bugs and spiders and I guess just small subjects. Uh, macro photography is something that uh, I started in college and I've just kind of kept up with it and uh, like I said, just take pictures of you know small creatures, that kind of thing. I'm completely self-taught. Uh, I basically just got a camera um, when I was in college, just started taking photos. I started out with a 100 millimeter lens uh, in, the, in the hobby, just kind of gradually grew from there. You know, I started as a little kid, like just always looking for small bugs. And my favorite when I was little was praying mantises. Um, and that has slowly grown into spiders. Uh, but that, that's always been, I guess, a passion, just looking for uh, insect spiders and just, uh, I guess, observing them in their natural habitat. I basically just take photos around my house and just, you know, every, maybe if I go to a state park, something like that, um, you know, bugs, spiders, they're everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Like, you can, you can find something just about wherever you go. During the spring, summer, fall, like obviously those are good times to find insects, spiders, other arthropods. Uh, but during the winter, you know, they kind of burrow down and they're, you know, they get cold. Uh, but snowflakes are something that I do like trying to take photos of whenever I can. Photography is something that pretty much anybody can pick up. You can start out with a, you know, very basic camera. A lot of cameras have macro capabilities. A lot of cameras have the ability for you to take really good photos now. Um, and, you know, it's, it's basically your imagination is your limit. So pick one up, see what you can find and start taking pictures.